Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices and the big tech stocks in the United States. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, January 25th, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. So the link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. As you can see, we have fallen a bit. So uh, we had this massive rally from the 20 exponential all the way up towards the top of this channel, a rise of roughly 2.94%. And now we are gradually going back towards the bottom of the channel. So we'll most likely find buyers come in roughly around this area here. It's just above the middle of the Bollinger Band and um, the target is roughly 3,780, give or take. So um, yes, it's just a waiting game. There's no uh, reason to um, start shorting these indices. It's just basically pick them up when, when they get really, really low. That is the best way or the um, you lower your risk and you the highest pro probability of basically being right. Um, indices like the S&P and the NASDAQ are basically made to go higher. They will just continue higher. And as long as you're in this channel, and then it's very predictable where we are technically going. It will take another three, uh, probably four trading days before we go down and then start going back up. Target here is 4,000. So if you go all the way down to uh, 3,780, then the target will be 4,000. That's roughly somewhere up here. Give or take. And that's a move of roughly 5.77%. So to the upside. So a massive move to the upside. So it's just a waiting game. Technical indicators are turning around. We are overstretched. Um, and in, we need to basically pull back at this point. MACD is still bullish. Uh, RSI has become bearish. CCI is becoming bearish. We're still a bit above 100. So it's still fairly bullish and stochastic has not turned around yet if you look at the lower uh, time frames we can see that it has started to break it down so yes it is just a matter of time before the one hour uh, chart in the stochastic turns around cross the signal line and will go significantly lower so let's look at the dow jones we can see that we have broken down all the way almost to the 20 exponential so from here, roughly down there, this is a fall of roughly 1.16%. I don't think that we're going to cross the 20 exponential or the middle year of the bullish band. We're just going to see this fall, stay here for a while, pull pull higher. So target here is uh, 31,500. So from the, the 20 exponential to 3, 31,500, that's give or take around here. That's a move to the upside of roughly 2.15%. So that's what we are waiting for pull back down to here and um, and then buy. If we break the 20 exponential, that opens the door to the 40. So from the 40 to uh, uh, 31,500, that's a move of roughly 3.88%. So if it falls down here, then it's even better. So we have been in this channel also in the Dow Jones and every single time it goes low, just buy. Uh, with a stop loss underneath um, if it should fall apart. But it's very unlikely with the new administration going to spend a whole lot of cash in the in the coming two years um, that this should fall apart um, at this point. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So it has started to fall um, as predicted. Uh, we have been outside of the Bollinger Band for the last two trading days and usually when it gets outside a little bit outside of the bullish band it completely falls apart like here it fell roughly 2.7 percent and we can see it also here it fell significantly higher than that and also here it fell nearly 9.44 percent so that is when it gets outside of the bullish band things happen and they happen quickly to the downside so target here is still uh, the lower uh, channel that's a move of 2.76% in the next few trading days. So it'll probably take a few days until we get down to this area. And then you'll see a spike when we get to these lows. And the target here is uh, 30,500 or 600. 
that is the target. So if you get down here and target this level here, that is a move of roughly 3.5%, and 600, that is a move of roughly 4.4% to the upside. So 30,600, that is a more likely target that because we have the trend line going this way and that it will um, hit that perfectly at that point. Technical indicators are still uh, very bullish, so they have not turned it around yet, but on Monday, you should see this um, go very choppy and then start falling towards the downside. So let's look at the tech stock because some of them are doing fairly well, some of them doing badly. So Apple has increased yet again today, 1.3%. It is getting very overstretched. You can see yesterday, I, uh, we were way outside of Bollinger Band pullback. Today, we have rallied yet again. We were all the way down to roughly $135 um, dollars a share. But at this point, a move towards the middle of the Bollinger Band, that is very expected. So that is a move of uh, roughly 4.9% to the downside. So to buy it here, um, if you're not, uh, if you're considering holding it for the long run, yes, that it makes sense uh, because then it doesn't really matter for pullbacks or anything. But if you are looking for um, best possible trade within the short run, then you should wait until you get to the 20 exponential or 40 exponential in order to enter this market. Target will be again these previous highs here of roughly 139 dollars a share. So let's look at Amazon. So Amazon found um, the high point here at 3,348 and then started breaking down. So we're way outside of the Bollinger Band. We are going to break down towards the middle of the Bollinger Band. So we still have roughly 2.76% before we found find risk support. Technical indicators are still very bullish. So yes, it's going to be a grind to the downside. If we fall lower than that, then the 150 here down at 3,154 is going to be major support. So let's look at um, uh, Microsoft. So Microsoft has found major support, no resistance, sorry, uh, at this level. And uh, interesting, it's basically the same level as over here. And uh, at this point, we are way outside of the Bollinger Band and it is time to go back to the downside. So most likely the 20 exponential is going to be the target here. That's a move of roughly uh, zero uh, minus 3.8% to the downside um, before we see buyers come back in. It could fall all the way down to the 150 moving average down here at 212, but uh, we'll see. If it does, then this is a major buying opportunity. Technical indicators are still fairly bullish. Yes, RSI is flat, so uh, yes, it is just overstretched. We had a move of roughly, roughly 8.2% in only four trading days, so that is a major move to the upside, and you need a pullback after that. So Facebook. Facebook found um, resistant here at 278, but this is a very, very encouraging sign. I was expecting Facebook to pull back towards the 200 moving average, but it basically rallied above the 50 moving average, and now we're above the 50 moving average. We are getting very stretched. We're almost near the top of the Bollinger Band. We The RSI is still very flat, um, so we could see a move back to the middle of the Bollinger Band and then go, go higher. Uh, so... We are not even close to the very highs, so we uh, have one of those highs there. That's still a move of 6.48%, and the very highs is a move of 11.10%. So these are the previous highs. We will get there in time. Um, I am about to make uh, update my my portfolio for the next uh, four years, which is basically going to be the Biden era portfolio. Uh, because the world is going to change the next uh, few years, um, um, much more than it changed under Donald, Donald Trump. Biden is going to um, do a heck of a lot of, of stimulus, and that stimulus will be targeted at the future of the world economy. So Facebook is one of those companies that is going to be an absolute enormous company in the future. Um, I would not be surprised if in four years' time we would you know, we look at Facebook and it's closing um, near at $800 a share. I would not be surprised if that were the case. So, so we'll see. Um, E-commerce and uh, online, uh, online um, uh, stores are going to be massive and Facebook has one of the biggest 
customer basis there is. So let's look at Tesla. So one of these companies is also Tesla because uh, future of cars is basically electric. I don't like electric, but uh, but that is the you know, that is the future of of, uh, of driving is electric and also solar panels. So just get used to it. That is where the world economy is going. Tesla has been uh, very flat in the, the, you know, the last few days. So we're trading sideways, and usually what happens here is that you get the 20 exponential going this way and the, the price going that way, and they will intercept somewhere here, and then you'll go next to the next target. So 900 is definitely the next target, and after that, 1,000. So um, technical indicators are looking more bearish. We are still on the edge of being overbought. So the best thing for this... Uh, stock would have been basically to go all the way down to the bottom of the bullish band but that's a drop of 15 25 percent we're not going to see that so the best thing we can see is a drop towards the middle of the bullish band and that's a drop of 7.5 percent so um if that occurs i will be all over this and buy as much as it technically possible this is uh going to this is the biggest uh, car company in the world at this point of stage and it's going to go become much 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 bigger um this and neon so let's look at google so google found major support no, no resistant here at uh, 938 and now we're about to go back down so we are very overstretched overbought here uh, technically indicators otherwise are turning around and um, it is very likely that we'll head back to middle uh, the middle of the bullion band that's at 1777 uh, drop of roughly 6.16%. Uh, um, at this point, no interest in basically uh, buying this if you want to hold it for the short run. Holding for the long run, this is a massive company that is just going to get bigger and bigger and the stock is just going to get higher and higher. When it's going to be uh, growing as fast as some of the other growth stocks like uh, Neon and uh, and uh, Karmix, for example, like Neon and... Uh, what else? No, just that at this current stage. That is probably not going to be the case. We're not going to look at the, at the Google stock in four years' time and see 5,000 here or 8,000. That is probably not going to be the case. Probably 2,500 or, uh, or 3,000 is what we're going to look at. So let's look at uh, Netflix. So Netflix uh, went to bananas uh, uh, here on Wednesday. And now we're gradually going back towards the downside. So this is a move that most likely will go to the bottom, in the middle of the bullish band. That's roughly here. So down to 524, a move to the downside of roughly 7.3% before we see buyers come back in. Um, yes, this is a popular stock. This is the biggest growth stock in the last um, nearly, I think it was 12 or 10 or 12 years. So, uh, but we will not see a 4,000% uh, increase in Netflix the next next year. That's probably not going to be the case. The market is getting crowded and uh, there are several uh, players in the market now compared to when Netflix started. So it is very unlikely. Probably Disney will do better than Netflix in the, in the coming years. But in the short run, Pull back towards the 20 exponential, that's a buy-in, and the target are these previous highs again of roughly $600 a share. So, I hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and uh, good weekend.